Oh man, this is a precarious situation. Chopper six is over our dog that's been running along 95 for more than a mile now. Here he is. He's off the road. He must be exhausted. He's going to try and work his way down this gravel hill. There's the state trooper who's been trying so hard to wrangle this dog and get him to safety. Oh, don't bite him. Don't bite him. Don't bite him. Don't bite him. He's trying. He's trying. Oh my goodness. Okay, he's calming down. That's good news. At least he's off 95 now. It was a really precarious situation for a while, but it looks like that dog is going to be okay. He's had quite the adventure this morning <laughs> as he ran up 95, starting right around the Betsy Ross Bridge and Bridge Street. We watched the state troopers try to wrangle him, try and get him under control about eight different times. It looks like they finally have, and now he's off the road. This has been, this was the video of one of those times that they were trying to catch him. They were running really fast. They jumped over the median barrier at one point. These guys are in good shape. I'm pretty impressed, but I'll tell you what, this dog has really eluded capture a number of times this morning. There he was. Oh, somebody in a truck got out and tried to get him and get him into the truck. He kept running through, running through the vehicles and just making his way up I-95. So it's been quite an eventful morning here. And for all the drivers, I got to say, I've been really impressed with these drivers who have just proceeded so gingerly around this poor dog that's been running up 95. They really have been careful and so he's been okay and now he's off the road and hopefully he'll be just fine. But southbound we are watching some pretty big delays on 95 because of this dog. Looks like he's in good hands now. The state troopers trying to get him taken care of and they're getting a rope on him too to try and get him to safety. Hopefully he didn't get caught in this piece of debris here along 95. This is the Tacony section of the city. It's close to Cotman Avenue. We watched for a little bit as he ran on the new temporary lanes along 95. He was checking them out too, just like many of us have over the last number of months. But there he is. He's panning, tongues out, and uh, looks like he's going to be okay. So we're really thankful. But it's been quite the eventful morning here along 95 in the